This morning we're going to learn how to group and count, or group by and count star in MongoDB, which is the SQL equivalent. So in SQL it's basically select field, and then comma, count star, or count of the field, and then group by the field. Okay. Uh, you'll also see developers, myself, I do this a lot just as a, a memory thing, but you'll see like select distinct, comma, count star, group by that distinct field. Okay, technically the distinct is redundant, but it's a good mental hack, uh, just in case you forget. Okay, so uh, yeah, let's look at that. We have a collection, and we have a collection of names, and we have a last name, and we have a first name. And so what we want to do is we want to group by the last name. So if you look at our collection here, you'll notice that we have two Does, two Smiths, one David, and one Deidre. Okay, so how can we group by the last name and get return the count? So we know there's going to be two Smiths and two Does, one David and one Deidre, so there should be a total of four return values. What we can do is we can do db dot names dot aggregate like we've been using. This time we're going to pass in the group operator. Okay, so we're going to pass in the group operator, and then we're going to look at we're going to specify our ID field is going to be the last name. So this is the equivalent of that select distinct field or select field, right? Okay. So if you're familiar with SQL, this is that equivalent, right? Then we're going to look at the last name count, and we are going to sum that at one, okay? And why is it one? Because basically for each last name, it gets a value of one, right? So this last name would have a value of one, and this would have one, so that's gonna be a total of two, and Smith is gonna be a total of two, right? And that would be completely changed if we were to change that value. You'll notice that we get one Deidre, one David, we get one Smith, and we get one Doe. As a case in point, let's prove that. If I were to say uh, the sum of two, we would get two Deidres, two Davids, two, uh, four Smiths, and four Does. That's because for each value, basically, it's getting two, and so on and so forth. So when we're looking at grouping by a field, we pass in the group operator. We're going to specify our ID here. This is basically the equivalent of that distinct. And then we're going to be counting appropriately. Of course, in this case, it's correct. We're going to be counting that sum. And that way, we can return how many of those fields there are in our documents in that result set.